Keith, good football in the first half, game management in the second half. We've earned those points. Yeah, I think the players knew. Um, we worked on it as soon as we had the, uh, the positive result on Tuesday night. The, the coaching staff mindset was the, uh, the problems that we, that we were going to face uh, and, the, and the challenges that we were going to face when we came to Cambridge. So right away from uh, on Wednesday morning when we woke up, we set about uh, formulating a plan. Uh, and again, I've got to say, um, the players adapted, uh, understood, uh, and applied themselves, which I think is important for a team that, that wants to be that wants to be progressive, uh, and, and that the ability to take on board that information and the, the, the rationale to understand why. And sometimes it's not your natural game because we had to play a game not based on every day in, in how we're training. Uh, we want to get the ball down, we want to pass and play, we want to uh, manoeuvre teams around. Uh, today I knew that the opposition we were playing, they wanted confrontation. Um, we didn't go on the back foot. Today there was a confrontation, uh, we met it head on and then we earned the right to score goals. The way we started, we could have been three up easily with, before they got their penalty. Yeah, again, I thought we, um, again, there was a game plan of ours. We wanted to play the game in the final uh, 35 yards of the pitch. Uh, we had, it, it was difficult because we had um, team selections that had to change. Uh, personnel that uh, on a normal day, uh, you'd say, would be mainstays in our team. Again, and this is where... Um, if, if you don't listen to the information that the, that the experts give you, then there's no point having them. There's no point having physios, no point having strength and conditioning coaches if you don't listen to them. And again, today was a day when we had Mike Jones been out for six months. He's come back in, limited amount of uh, game time in pre-season, played 90 minutes, 90 minutes, 120 minutes. Uh, and again, the, well, the signs were there. The lad needs a, press, uh, needs a break. And again, so that's where you have to, you have to listen to the expert. And, and again, so Mike Jones today, Bitterly disappointed because he's, you know, he wants to play games, he wants to represent this football club, uh, and he knows he's uh, he's making up for lost time with the uh, the injury that he had. But sometimes you have to be brave and you have to make decisions that are for, the, for the betterment of the team. I suppose same with Dev. The fans would have looked at that initial selection and thought, "What's happening?" Because he's been one of our best players. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And again, this is an opportunity where my job is I need to make decisions that I think are right, uh, not only for the team, not only for the football club, but also for me. Because when, when I go home, uh, I analyse my decision making, and just because somebody's a good player and I've got to say Jamie Devitt and, uh, and Mike Jones are probably the, uh, the two best players uh, I've ever rested um, so, so, so again but the pleasing thing is it's, uh, it's a squad game it's a, um, and it's a game of where everybody's got a part to play and I think that's, uh, that showed today uh, no resentment no, no real feeling uh, understanding about the, uh, the success of the team is more important than any one individual